Okay, welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. Uh, first off, I want to I want to thank everybody for watching uh, past videos, and I was looking forward to continuing the last park with the no fences, but I was attempting to add more dinosaurs to the park, and the releasing of the dinosaurs broke the game. At least it broke my save, so. I have to restart, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you setting up the park. Uh, the, no fences and no humans, but we do have to have some humans to get the initial dinosaurs set up. Right now in the background you're watching, I'm leveling some of the ground around some of the one of the big lakes. I'm going to be putting a larger open area this time so that the herds can kind of gather. Uh, you get more of the effect like you saw in the first Jurassic Park when they first seen the first uh, Bronchiosaurus and they look down at the lake's edge and there's all the dinosaurs herding down around the water edges and stuff. So we're going to kind of go for that feel this time around. Uh, so we're going to keep working on this uh, and then we will get up to releasing some dinosaurs. So I will go through all this stuff and we will be to the next stage so stick around the other thing that we're gonna do is oh that's a chained goat I want the goats that release we're just gonna we're gonna stock this area and the goats are gonna be all over the place this will give the predator something to hunt while we're stocking the park. And then what you do is go back after the goats have been released. get as much food running around as we can until we can get the breeding mod which it's not released yet it's got to be ported over from the first version of the game so our herbivores if they get hunted to extinction once we get rid of our hatcheries it's going to be a uh, that's it, you know, there's no more. Unless I go through this whole thing of putting the hatcheries back in and everything, which I did with the other park that I lost the save of. And I think that's kind of what broke it on me. Oh, I should probably make sure that they do release them. <laughs> that's, that's good for right now. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is go back and place some new environment back down. Give some more ground cover for places for the herbivores to eat. Plus the other thing that we want to do, and these I leave because we're putting in flying dinosaurs that eat fish. So what we gotta do is anywhere there's a body of water. kind of looks weird having it in there, but it's the only way to keep the flying dinosaurs alive. Anywhere there's a larger body of water, we just place these feeders. Plus then we have some of the other carnivores that eat fish gives them something to eat too. Even though we won't have any humans, what we can do is in the story what we'll have it is occasionally they will come in and drop food just to be sure that the, the dinosaurs do have sufficient food. Because the fish are something that you can't replenish or have free produce for you. I 
wish there was a way to like use the one that re you know releases fish into the the lagoons to be able to just release fish right into these ponds would really be kind of cool but that's not something that can happen because even while they the glitches if you saw in one of my other videos there was a fish flying <laughs> through the air okay next thing we've got our aviaries and we've got just these are just the support buildings that are going to be used for um producing these creatures right now Let's add some more stuff to these Staff building because I had to hire. You have to hire the scientists because you need scientists to, to produce the dinosaurs. Okay, let's advance additional bay, which we really don't need because I'm not going to be trying to release too many at one time. Whoops. Okay, first thing we're going to do, we are going to start producing some flying dinosaurs. We want Okay, we need to do some modification on them because we want to get rid of their their needs and stuff because we're not gonna have any medical personnel, so we want to try to make sure that they're good and healthy right off the bat. And we're not going to be having any, uh... Oh, what was I thinking of? Any disease in the park, which is good. And that comes with the sandbox settings that we can do. Okay, let's see, we got... We need 11, 10, and 1. That works. We'll get those producing. And while those are working... And I start getting some herbivores out here. I think first thing I'm gonna do is I want to get some Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus. They're probably my favorite, just for the fact of their call. It's just kind of echoes throughout the the park. And let's fix their appetites, and resilience, and what we want is we want to give them the rest of it is going to be defense because their big thing is the raptors I'm going to try to get a raptor pack it's the last group of raptors they kind of all went their separate ways they were all a little bit um, independent <laughs> and they ended up killing each other or dying okay let's get some brachiosaurus going and we're going to do I think we're gonna do another set because we usually only get one or two eggs out of these. I wish we could just get a whole mess of eggs right off the bat. We're just gonna change the color a little bit. I like to do the straight colors. I'm not a big fan of the whole designs. Maybe in the raptors, but not in the other dinosaurs. Okay, are we gonna have enough? Just. I was trying to find the best scientists that had the best upgrades, but it wasn't all that many. And this last hatchery, what we're going to do is we're going to want some Gallimimus, because we're going to need a herd of them for the raptors and the T Rex and the T Rexes and things like that. And we'll do some of the 1993 version. And we're going to give them some defense because, uh, oh wow, they didn't. Oh, because it, that adds too much to where I won't have enough scientist points to, to do it. So we're, we're going to leave them at what they're at. Yeah, because see, I only have one scientist left. All the other ones are preoccupied with doing the, all the other breeding. Okay, now it's a waiting game. We're going to speed up time, but I will be back with you in a second once they're done getting these eggs incubated. Okay, here all all these hatcheries have got they're incubated so let's 
go and select the eggs. I try to pick just the eggs that do not have any defaults to them. And then do we have enough? Oh, oh good, all the scientists are pretty much ready. Let's see, we just need a three, so let's not take any of these scientists that we, you know, can use for other purposes. Let's see, we got our Brachiosaurus, which I have a feeling we're only, yep, only got two eggs, but nice thing is, is both eggs don't have any defaults to them. So that works out pretty good. Uh, let's see, we need an eight. Oh, this is the, oh wow, yeah, okay. Um, it's the medical one. Okay, a couple Bronchs going. And now, let's, okay, two, two more, please, let it be. I'm hoping that it's also good. good, good. And we need another eight, so five. There we go. Get going, hopefully we'll have enough left. Only two, no, that stinks. And, whew, just, <laughs> okay. These will be incubating, I'll be right back with you. Okay, all of our eggs are incubated, so let's start releasing some of these dinos. to the water's edge at the far oh actually they need more woods so we're going to place them asset requiring collection asset collection request received okay so we got two going over there where are the most sounds coming from i don't have any dinos in here yet okay and now we're going to maybe we will release a couple over here we'll have a pair there and we will do here. See, they're, they're going to want some wooded area, though. Put them here. Acknowledging asset collection request. Which might be bad because the raptors are going to be in this area. So that might be a mistake. Yeah, these these were just going to release right off. is everything. It brought the dinosaurs back from beyond the brink, and it is keeping them here now. I hope you understand how vitally important this is. Oh, I haven't introduced myself. Dr. Kajal Dua. You need to be as passionate about our work as I am. I'll accept no less. Few more here. We want to get quite a few of these into the, into the area. Some of these animals present a real test of our abilities. Take for instance, this latest dinosaur, the Gallimimus. It's an opportunistic omnivore that does best in groups. That okay, alone isn't eggs. the problem. Something but the good. speed. Gallimimus is incredibly fast, which presents special challenges for the ranger teams tasked with monitoring them. Well, fortunately there won't be any ranger teams. so far. These take so long to produce. I think I'm gonna spend some time looking for some mods and see if there's any way to get these dinosaurs to produce much quicker because this is just way too long. Asset transportation underway.
stage for this episode. Commencing asset transit. Got a few dinos starting to get moved out. This will be our map. We'll start adding more in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to hit that like button. Don't forget hit the subscribe and the bell icon so you know when the next video comes out. You have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.